I think it was, uh, it was good building off what we had rolling uh, from week one. It's always good to take a step forward. Uh, obviously, as a unit, there's going to be stuff that we need to clean up. Uh, I know some of the certain situation stuff was third down or short yardage. I know as a team, we want to take a step forward in that. But overall, I thought it was a good job there. Yeah, it's uh, it's great having that kind of competition. Like you said, they're a high caliber team, and uh, we knew that we had to uh, we had to bring it every day. And uh, it was cool kind of getting that sort of experience, especially with a rookie quarterback and him being able to see the game and how fast it is. So I think it benefited us all a lot. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Right off the snap, the, the near safety started pushing to the middle of the field, and the backer was coming to me, so I knew he was trying to play me man. We had a double move on, and the safety kept pushing to the middle, so I was trying to keep it as skinny as I could. And Zach threw a perfect ball away from the safety and just kind of protected me as much as he could. Tyler, camp, and obviously in the preseason, you've seen it as well. You're getting a lot of opportunities to mm-hmm. play. Yeah. Do you believe that some people are not necessarily sleeping on you, but you haven't necessarily been able to show everything? Yeah, I mean, I just, I've always prided myself on just embracing whatever role coaches give me. And my last couple of years, I did get snake bit with a couple injuries, so it's good finally having my body back. Uh, my first five or six years in the NFL, I played around 245, 250, and I'm 260 now. So I feel like I've finally got my legs back under me. So it's it's cool being put into a position where I can make some plays. Yeah, it was like a slide route out the backside. And I got to give a shout out to my guy Chris on that one because he was running an over route to me. So we were both kind of in unison. And he dug out one of the defenders for me to make it a little easier. So I got to give him a shout out. But uh, yeah, it was a slide off the backside and just turned it up the sideline. Yeah, I mean, he's making strides every week. And you, one thing you can tell about him is he loves playing ball and loves being out there with the guys. So uh, it's cool seeing him progress every week. And he's getting more comfortable. Like. Like the first touchdown I had today, like that pass was perfect. Like it was a great touch. He got it out on time and kept me away from the defender. So it's cool seeing him take step forwards that way. Yeah, it's cool. Like in this offense in general, the tight ends get asked to do a lot, whether it's in the run game or the pass game. So they put a lot on our plate. And uh, I just think as a unit together, we've been building really good chemistry with Zach. Have we seen him make that? Yeah, it obviously gets us pretty excited because we know what he can do coming from college. It's obviously he's going to have a lot of pressure on him being the number two pick and everything. There's going to be high expectations, but it's cool that it almost seems like it's slowing down for him a little bit, and he's seeing plays and uh, as they unfold. So, I mean, it's just it's been cool seeing that. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously that's exciting. Getting a few balls come my way, I'm just happy to put in that position. So. You were around another quarterback, um, Josh. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you started his rookie year, made that huge jump in your career, but you were kind of there for the growth, mm-hmm. his eventual breakout. Yeah. Is there a point where you can tell that a quarterback is like, as when you're a teammate, you can tell he's kind of starting to see things click and that that breakout's coming, or does it almost kind of take everyone by surprise? Um, I think. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like every quarterback's going to be a little different, but I think the best thing that I saw out of Josh when I was with him was he just started, as he got more comfortable in the system and more comfortable, you could tell he was playing looser, and I think he has fun out there. So that's always what I try and talk to Zach about is just to like have fun, be yourself out there. Can you see him doing that? Like, can you see him starting to play looser and getting more comfortable yeah. like these weeks are going on? Yeah, for sure. He's definitely getting comfortable in the offense, which is what awesome. Do you think these, these two weeks, or I'm sorry, these two practices uh, helped you guys Yeah, it helped a lot, and they run a different defensive front than we're used to seeing in camp also, so getting that exposure, and uh, they run coverage is a little different. I know their offense is pretty similar to ours, but as for an offense looking at them defensively, it was cool getting those reps and not necessarily in a live situation, so you can really talk tape afterwards and get the most out of it. Uh, the Packers, their front, you're one of their odd three, four cards, mm-hmm. obviously Miami and New England, they run similar, so how much will the Packers, their front help? 
Yeah, it'll definitely, I mean, and they're a high quality team here too with the Packers. So seeing that defense, like you said, in our own division, we'll see that multiple times this year. So, I mean, having that exposure with a high caliber team like that, it's just going to, it's going to be great for us. I, I mean, I'll have to look at the tape, but I just think overall what I can control on that is I just got to be more physical with my guy and make sure I'm handling, make sure he's not the one making the play.